Hey guys, Jeremy here. Today we're going to be recoloring our artwork in Illustrator CC. Uh, it's a really great tool. You can literally change your colors in 10 seconds with the click of a button. Um, I always use it in all my designs. So as you can see, I, I did this design for Instagram a few weeks back. And you can see this is my final design. But on the right here, I created four different color variations. So it's really simple to do. Um, and then you want to make sure that you your final design is all completed. Um, the design's done, it's expanded, and you've done it all your final colors because um, we're going to change this so first off you're going to make sure that you got the color guide window and swatches window up so go to window go to color guide and swatches make sure you have those up and you want to make sure that you have your swatches in these groups you can create folders by pressing on the bottom right um, you can click the folder here or you can click new swatch to create new swatches um, you can see I've got my, my colors here um, so what we're going to do is we're going to select our artwork and I'm gonna move this a little bit to the left there and I'm gonna go to color guide panel and you can see in the bottom right there's like a color wheel you want to click that make sure your artwork selected and now um, to see the changes we're gonna click in the bottom left corner recolor art and now you can see the colors are already changed so if you untick the box it won't show but you want to make sure it shows so you click that and now if I click on the color groups on the right hand corner you can see we got our color groups from our swatches panel because it saves it there if I click on these color groups, it's going to shift the original colors and substitute it for these new colors that we're selecting. So you can see there's different variations and it's really that easy. And now if I press OK, my artwork has changed to those new colors. And you can make a copy and it just works fine. So I'm just going to Control Z that and I'm going to go back to the recolor artwork. And so it's very flexible. Um, you can also create your, um, more groups from here. You can go to a new color group if you want. Um, if you want to make a custom one or you can delete them from here. Um, it acts like a swatches panel as well. Um, but what, first off, what we're going to do, so here is our substituted, color, substituted colors. We've got the red. You can see how it's swapping our original red for the gray and the browns for um, the red and the orange and the gray for the brown. As you can see, it, it tells you what's swapping. You can also drag these as well if you want to swap them around. So you can create really cool combinations can drag that like that um, you can also add more rows as well you can see I've added a row there and I can drag a color maybe I don't want to use one of these colors I can just drag it in there um, but because we're only using four colors it's only gonna use four colors so the more colors you have the more rows um, you can use um, another way we can change the order of the color is clicking um, this button here in the bottom right it will just shift into random orders it will shift the colors into random orders you can also shift by saturation and brightness so you can see it's changing the tints um, and that type of thing. You can also select this button as well in the right hand corner which is going to um, show which color you want to see. So if I want to see just the red, I can just select that and click on the row and it's going to show me where that red is. Sometimes it can be visually confusing, you don't know where things are and you want to just check, you can just do this. And to, un to get out of it, you just unclick the box. So that's a one way to quickly flick through colors. Um, you can also change it manually down the bottom here as well. If I want to change this, um, maybe if I want to change this red, um, which is the yellow, I can shift it like this. And now I'm just making a blue line like that. Really easy. Um, you can also use um, colors like how many you want to see. You can at the moment set to all. So if you click this little drop down menu here, you click that. If you just want to see it in two color or three color, or for all the colors, you can just change it. Or maybe I just want to see it in that in that blue, and it will use that one color and just put the tints of it, different shades and tints of it. And you can see now my logo is like bluish now, which is pretty cool. So you can just go back to all to see all that. Another way we can change it is we use edit. So you can see you got two options here: you got assign, which I normally use, or you can use edit as well. So another quick way to change colors is you can just drag the circle around, and because it's all chain linked. It's going to, you know, pick the colors that um, are going to be consistent with the link. If you want to break the link, what you can do is if you select it, you can click this little on the um, bottom right, which is Unlink Harmony, and you can specifically move all these colors. If you want something weird and trippy or abstract, you can just pick whatever and you can come up with something weird. Um, you can also delete links if you don't, if you don't want to see all the colors, you just click the minus. Um, click on the link or you click plus and you can add a link which will add a color and then you can shift that 
So that's another way. You can also change the view of it by clicking these three buttons. Uh, but just leave it on the original. Um, these two buttons will change the hue and saturation of the color. And you can see the artwork is changing. But usually I don't touch that because it can really wash out and muddy up your, your tones and your values and make your artwork look really um, bad. So keep that in mind as well. Um, another thing we can do as well, if you click this drop down menu on the bottom right here, you can change it to CMYK RGB um, as well for these sliders. So keep that in mind. But what we can do as well is we can use color books. So in the bottom here where it says none, if we click this drop down box, we can go and select the color book. So maybe you're working on a job, um, you want to do a Pantone color. So I'm going to go color books and then I'm going to go to Pantone, Pantone solid colored. So now it's using Pantone solid colors now. So what it's going to do is if I press OK um, and I just click yes there, now you can see it's changed that color group and it's now using Pantone colors instead of the CMYK or the RGB. So now if I double click, you can see Pantone 2736 and the green and the yellow and the brown that's in the design now, it's all changed to a Pantone colors which is really useful. So um, if you're doing a specific job, um, you now have those Pantone colors. So that's another good way to, um, if you want to do that, um, and you can select to go back into it. If you don't want the Pantone colors, you just go back and click none and then press OK and then it will resave the group as um, it was before. So yeah, that's pretty much how you use the recolor artwork, guys. Um, hoped it was useful. Um, yeah, so the best thing to do is play around with it. Um, you can even play around with harmony rules as well. Um, if you click on this drop down box, you can see all these different um, color types. Um, and then you can create a group of it and play around. It's really quick and easy and fun. And yeah, so I hope this was helpful. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos each week. And I hope you have a good day.